This is a Toyota Century, and it's essentially a Japanese Rolls-Royce. In fact, it's the only Japanese car to have a V12 engine. I've actually been thinking about buying one of these for a long time, but I've never seen one in the flesh. This is the first time I've got up close and personal with one, and I'm gonna take it for a drive as well. And by the end of the video, I will decide once and for all whether or not I'm gonna add one of these to my car collection, because my car collection is lacking a V12, and I need a V12. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you all to Lun Ma. Say hello, Lun. Hello. Now, this is your car, isn't it, Lun? Yeah, this is my, this is my baby. It's a big old baby, <laughs> a big, big, posh-looking baby. It's massive. Tell me about this car. First of all, let's start off with the design. They've been around for a while, the Toyota Century, wasn't it? From 1976 or something. But the design has uh, stayed the same, because how old is this car? What year is it? This car was made back in 2013, actually. But the design goes back to 1997, I believe. Okay. Yeah, so way back. But I think even before then, like the first generation, because there's three generations, yes. this is the second generation. Yes. The first generation was from like the 60s or something. 1967. That's maybe, right. Yeah. Uh, but it had a similar look to it. Yeah, it's quite an old looking car, even for a 1997, isn't it? It, it is. Here at the front, right, what headlamps have we got in there? Are they just old fashioned halogens or something? No, they're actually HID headlights. So Xenons? Yes. So when it first turned it on, the color is actually purple. And then once, it, once the temperature goes up and uh, the colour turns to white. So I'm thinking about getting one of these cars. At what point did the HID bulbs come in? I believe they started this in 2008. So before that, they used halogen headlights. So after that, they used the switch to HID headlights. OK, so I want to look out for that. Yeah. Moving to the grill and stuff. So it's a Toyota, right? But where's yeah, the Toyota is. badge? There's no Toyota badge. There's this. What's this? What does that say? It's actually just a letter C. For Century. For Century, yeah. And then there's a golden bird. That's actually a finish. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bird, it's just not any bird. <laughs> so it's a royal symbol, a royal bird. A lot of chrome going on. What's this like to maintain the chrome? Lots of chrome around the grill as well. I've actually got uh, PPF on the front of this car and then I put ceramic coating all over it. You've ceramic to... Oh, you've PPF, yeah? You've yeah, PPF down yeah there? the front of the car is all PPF. Oh, yeah. If I do that, I'm definitely going to PPF it. Yeah, you should. How much do you spend PPF in it? Uh, 1,600. 1,600. The yeah. car itself, though, how much is the car? <clears throat> to buy it in Japan, it probably costs you around £13,000. But to bring it to the UK, the total cost, probably we're looking at £25,000. So £25,000 for this car. Yeah. So you could have uh, an S-Class, Mercedes S-Class from the same 2000, what's this, 2013? Yeah. You could probably get an S-Class for that but not as reliable though. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, we'll come to that in a bit. So let's move down, down the side. So, big thing about the Toyota Century that I've noticed is these, look. Now in the UK, we talk about wing mirrors, but all cars have door mirrors, the, the mirrors there. These are proper wing mirrors, mirrors on the wing of the car. Yes. They look so cool. They do. But it does make it look like you're towing a caravan. <laughs> it does. <laughs> do need a bit of time to get used to them. And then, the wheel. Are these wheels standard? They look a little bit blink. No, they're aftermarket wheels. So how much were they? Two and a half thousand pounds. It's a bit of a shame that you appear to have curbed this one. Did they come with the car? Did you buy them afterwards? I, I bought them myself. Yeah. Right, so your £25,000 has gone up now to like 27, 28? Yeah, something like that. And then yeah. the PPF, we're getting to £30,000. It's getting to £30,000. <laughs> so I was thinking I could get one quite cheap, but obviously not. If you just want to get a stock car, drive them around, you can just spend £20,000 to do that. Yeah, I just don't like drive stock cars, that's all. <laughs> I think I might keep it standard. I can really see the effect of that ceramic coating it's really nice there is a bit of orange peel on the paint this is supposed to be toyota's <laughs> top end car you wouldn't think there'd be some i'm sorry to like criticize your car that's fine that's can you fine. see it as well i can i've been told the driver's side door might have been repainted at some point right well, well, well was you wait there <laughs> you're absolutely right yeah that over there it's very different yeah it's completely different yeah if you look here yeah no orange peel it's this yeah you're right yeah, yeah it's yeah. definitely been done Oh, check this out. Old fashioned door handles. Look at that. And where, where? This is the test. So, this is the very best car that Toyota can produce. So, Toyota's engineers have put their hearts and souls into this car. Listen to how the door shuts. That is a heavy door. It must be so satisfying getting in and out of that each day. It Just does. Just the weight it of does. it. And then this chrome panel around here, it's so nice. And the fit and finish, I was talking about Mercedes S-Classes. I'm pretty sure the lines don't line up 
as well as they do on this car? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just check the back door because obviously this is supposed to be a car that VIPs are chauffeured around in. So yeah. when I say VIPs, it's more like your CEOs, your, your businessmen, isn't it? Yeah. You get also president and the Japanese royals as well. Yeah. So you know that Toyota have really paid maximum attention to building this car to the highest standard. So once again, really heavy door, but we have soft close on the rear. Not on the front, for the driver. Yeah, the driver is not important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is the sign that matters. V12. V12. And then this is the thing that you probably have to, does it open or do you have to press a button in there? There's like a pulley. The, you know, ah, yeah. okay. But I bet you open that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Don't really want to talk about that. <laughs> How much does it cost to put a, a full tank in it? Why is a full I, tank? I think that the full tank is about 90 litres. 90 litres, so, oh, that's quite a lot. So that costs yeah. you, what, 100, 160 pounds, yeah? Yeah, something like that. And how long does that last? How many miles? Not Three, enough. 300, 300, 350, something like that, yeah. But it's worth it, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, we'll find out when I drive it. Okay, let's move to the back of the car. Look at this, old-fashioned bumpers. This is really 1960s, the back of this car, don't you think? A lot of people are saying that it looks like an old American car, actually. Yeah, yeah it does, bars. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Big, wide, flat bottom. And is it like an American car where you have a huge trunk? Can I get into it? How do you get into it? You need to press a button. Is that the reversing camera that yes, I'm trying to press? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've never seen one of these cars before. Do we have to press a button inside? Yeah, shall I do that? You go do that. I'll just admire the sentry, the way that's lined up with Japanese precision. I heard a motor go and perfectly weighted. Look at that. Yeah. I can lift it with just the slightest effort from my little finger. They've really judged that perfectly. So it's not got an electrically operated tailgate but it's just so well balanced. I can't believe that. And then boot, nice and wide, very easy to get stuff in. That carpet, that's like Rolls Royce. And I've got to do this, Lon, I'm sorry, I do this to quite a lot of cars. See if I can fit in, shut it. Do you really want me to start the boot? Yeah, 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 go on, right. shut it. A, I'm sure there's a release in here. Go on, shut it. Okay, I, I can't find sure the release. I saw a thing that said call to release, but I so let's just open the outline. Can you let me out? I thought I'd be able to release it. <laughs> yeah, look, it says Paul there. <laughs> look, can you see? Yeah. What, that didn't work? That's for, for doing this. Oh, what an yeah. idiot! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it was like the release that they have in American cars. No. Oh. Uh, and one last thing I noticed there, what's that? Is that like a toolkit? Yeah, it's a toolkit. Some look. To tell you the truth, I was expecting something a little bit fancier, just a uh, basic no, toolkit, no. really. Right, and that came with the car. Yeah. And, well, yeah, I was going on about these carpets. These are aftermarket, mate. Yeah, they are. Look, you, you didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping the stock carpet because uh, nearly can't get them anymore. Oh, look, there's a release for the fuel filler cap. It's a weird place for it. It's an emergency release. So you put this in there to protect the standard carpet, yeah. okay. But actually, the quality is almost the same. Yeah. So that's what it's it feels like normally. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use the pull thing to actually pull it shut. Yeah. And it's self-closing. There you go. <laughs> it's lovely. Let's just check this side. Yeah, you can see the paintwork. Now, oh, there's a bit of a scratch there. That wasn't me. But yeah, look at it. It's so nice, isn't it? It's beautiful. Beautiful. Right. Loving the outside. It's got so much style. Let's check out the inside. Let's. I've got to say, Lund, the interior lives up to the exterior. It is gorgeous in here. It's very clean. It's very clean. So it says on the clock, 200,000 kilometres. Yeah, so that's it, about... This seems like it's new. Like, it, honestly, like there's no way on the seat, all this material is in top quality, or this trim as well. It's solid as a rock. Yeah, nothing's shaking inside here. No, I mean, we were talking about an S-Class earlier for, like, less money, but... This feels like it's new. An S-Class would be creaking and rattling and things would be a bit scratched and a bit worn. I'm not a big fan of wooden cars, but it works in here, doesn't it? It does. It's so nice. And the leather, soft and expensive feeling. This is a vinyl, isn't it, on the dash? That's not leather up here, but the seats, the leather, really nice. And the seats themselves are super comfy, aren't they? It's like a big sofa. It is like a big sofa. And obviously you've got all your adjustment there, all electrical. Do we have heating? It must have heating, surely. Yeah, it does. Seat heating there, there's a few windows. What is this little device? 
that's how to you open, open your door. Open the door. Oh, so you put your arm like that right, and right, lift ah, it. Ah, that's neat. And of course, we've got the ashtrays, cigarette lighters. Real nice feel to that, actually. That's metal, not plastic, Rouge, metal. Electrically adjustable steering column. Yes, good. So listen to the horn. It's a solid horn. Oh, that feels nicely damped as well. Then we've got the climate control there. TV. So you've got a tape player and a TV. Yeah, in Japan, you actually can watch TV inside the car. Can you watch TV on this? Yeah, you can, if you want to. So I've noticed you've got Apple CarPlay on it. Yeah. That wasn't original, right? Come no, on. No, it's not. No. So you can upgrade it to have Apple CarPlay? Yeah, it's like a little device you can just connect it to, to the center console. You can have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, yeah. Now all this is in Japanese. If I press these buttons, will you be able to get it back to the setting that you want? Or should I not uh, touch them? You can touch anything, yeah, that's fine. Japanese sat nav, and yeah, he thinks we're in the nav. middle of the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand any of that, do you? Uh, like 50%. <laughs> right. The driver's display. So we've got a digital speedometer, yeah. which is in kilometers an hour, which is a bit of a problem in the UK. Can you convert that to miles an hour? I think you can. But why haven't you then? I just don't want to mess around with the stock gauge cluster. Just yeah. in case it goes off. Yes. Forever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. So how do you know what speed you're doing in miles an hour? Do you use your Google Maps or something? Uh, I actually installed an aftermarket speedometer, so that's in miles Oh, that's hour. what that is. Yeah. That's not your boost gauge then? No, it's not. <laughs> I suppose this is naturally aspirated this engine, it is. isn't it? Right, let me just check out some of the other bits to check the quality. So, oh, yeah, that's okay down there. What is this? Is this a cup holder or something? It is. A very shallow cup holder. A very rubbish cup holder. Have you got yeah, a bottle, actually? Yeah, yeah press There start. you go. Does it work? Sort of. Sort of. Yeah, that's all right, I, I'm sort of. And then the door bins, they're not very big, are they? No. Nope. But they are lined with felt and soft, and obviously you've got carpet down here as well, so that feels quite nice and expensive, as does the aluminium kick plates, which say Century on them. And you've got your aftermarket mats in here with, what is it, Junction Produce? Yes. Sounds like a grocery store, what's that? <sighs> it's actually a Japanese aftermarket brand. Yeah, they produce aftermarket parts for VIP cars. Right, yeah. okay, so it's in keeping with the type of car that this yeah, is. Yeah. All right, let's have a look under here. It's sent to console with some storage, and you've got your USB port there, which you've installed. Yeah, once again, lined with felt, so it feels nice and expensive. What, what's going on with this? The, the behind that thing is actually a TV. Oh, so that's so, for the rear passengers. Yeah, it's just, yeah. does that get on your nerves a bit? Like Sometimes, yeah, yeah, because it doesn't go down. Oh, right, yeah, that is a bit annoying. That's quite a big gear selector. That's the aftermarket. Do you know what that's like? Yeah. That's like BMW's Crystal Clarity. It does, yeah. Is that like a rip-off of it, really? I think so. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look in here. I'm disappointed in that. That's yeah, not damped. That's not damped. What's going on yeah. with that? We do have, what's this, your CD player there, yep. and some storage there as well. Right. What's going on with this? There's, what's this? That's a sun visor. Oh, so when you put that down, the sun doesn't get through this bit here. Exactly. Ah, oh. and the big visors, and they're soft and squidgy, and yeah, big vanity mirror. And it all feels so nice. Do you know another way you can stop yourself being bothered by the sun when you're driving? Yeah. <laughs> right, look at this. Because there's not a place to keep the glasses in the car, notice, but look. So these, right? I'm sorry to wear these. They're Transitions Drivewear lenses. So look at that. Right, they change colour depending on how light it is outside. So the lighter it is, the darker they get. And they're specifically designed for driving, so it gives you high contrast when you're driving so you can see the road much better. You know when you're driving down the road, right, and like the sun's in your face and it's really bad and you're getting reflections from water, it just deals with that, it stops all of that. And they're also polarised as well, so you get that increased darkness, but also the polarisation, so you're not bothered by reflections so much. Do you want to try them? Have a little go in them. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, they are. Honestly, I love them. They're like a game changer for me. Yeah, they're suiting you. Yeah. And you can get them with a prescription. So you okay, probably, yeah. things are probably a bit blurred for you right now, aren't yeah, they? Very blurred. <laughs> yeah. But no, it's very comfortable, to be honest. They're, they're brilliant. Yeah. Anyway, so if you want to check out some of these transitions drive wear, you can get them from Glasses Direct.